Eli Ricks is a former five-star recruit who played a couple seasons at LSU before transferring to Alabama for his last year. But despite the fact that he was a good college cornerback with prototypical size, he went undrafted and signed a free agent contract with the Eagles. Heading into the preseason, he was kind of a long shot to make the roster, but he's played really well over the first two weeks. And unfortunately, Zach McPherson tore his Achilles in week two. So there could end up being an open spot for Eli Ricks. In this video, we're gonna break down his preseason tape from the first couple weeks and talk about what his chances are of making the final 53. So as a prospect, I viewed Eli Ricks as a really good press corner with some athletic limitations. He's 6'2", 190 with good length. He's forceful and accurate with his hands and press coverage, and he has the play strength to win at the catch point over bigger receivers. But he ran a 4'6 flat in the 40, which is right around the cutoff for an outside corner, and his 7'4'4 three cone was in the second percentile. So he is a little stiff when it comes to changing directions, and in college, he would compound that issue by declaring his hips prematurely. In the first First two weeks of the preseason, he's been targeted 11 times on just 35 coverage snaps. He's allowed four receptions for 67 yards and a touchdown, and he's had two pass breakups and a pick six. His interception came on this Omaha concept, which is just two quick outs. The receiver stems his route at almost a 45 degree angle outside. Eli Ricks does a great job keying off of that and identifying the route, and then he makes a clean break into the passing window and gets the interception. He got a pass breakup on a similar play right here. Again, the receiver stems his route outside so Ricks widens out to maintain outside leverage and then accelerates once the receiver breaks. Even though he isn't the most explosive corner out of a back pedal, he has the length to make up some of the difference and force the incompletion. And then he almost had a second pick six later in the game. He's in off coverage facing a 12 yard curl. Eli Ricks and the receiver both stumble out of their breaks, which was a problem for Ricks in college. If he was able to keep his feet underneath them and get a clean break on this pass, he would have taken it to the end zone. But again, he has the reach to break up the pass without being in perfect position. If you're enjoying the video, make sure to subscribe and leave a like, and also follow us on all of our social medias. The links to those are in the description. So off coverage was probably my biggest area of concern with Eli Ricks, and in week one, he made a lot of plays from off coverage. I will say the routes he was facing aren't exactly NFL quality, and the ball location was almost always behind the receiver, but all you can ask him to do is take advantage of the opportunities he's given, and he did just that. In week two, they played him a lot more in press coverage, and you saw how overwhelming his size can be against under underneath passes. When he's patient with his footwork at the line of scrimmage and he lets the receiver declare his release before transitioning, he can use his length to shut down slants and hitches. But in straight up man coverage situations, he does have trouble mirroring route breaks and maintaining his balance. Right here, the receiver releases outside and starts to work downfield, and then he crosses over and breaks inside on the slant and Ricks gets tripped up. The problem here is that he doesn't put up any resistance to this outside release, but he fully commits with his hips. He needs to stay relatively square with the line of scrimmage and slide with the outside release so that he's stopping the receiver from going vertical. But if he cuts back inside, Ricks can just slide in that direction instead of having to fully turn his hips back around. And then right here, he's in off coverage. The receiver's running a dig. And again, he's too early to turn his hips outside. And with someone like Eli Ricks, who isn't the most fluid athlete, that slight hip turn is enough to inhibit his ability to recover back inside. He did have this really nice play in cover three. The Browns are running a two-man shot concept. Eli Ricks has the deep third, so he needs to stay on top and outside of this route because he's got safety help over the middle but no help to the sideline. But then the receiver cuts outside and Eli Ricks makes a really nice speed turn to mirror the break and he gets his right hand in the window and breaks up the pass. So Eli Ricks still has a ways to go to become a starting caliber corner and we haven't seen him face true NFL speed which is another area of concern but I think he should make the roster especially with McPherson on IR. My guess for the six corners would be Slay, Bradbury, Maddox, Ringo, Joby, and Ricks. And even if he never develops into a true starter, I think Eli Ricks is still a valuable player to have on your team. If someone gets injured, he can come in and hold up and press man for a few drives if you give him some safety help. And if he does get cut, I think he would get stolen off of Philly's practice squad very quickly. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Also, let me know in the comments any NFL players or teams that you'd like me to cover.